orang bule ini guys ya takjub dan menemukan permata di Malaysia guys ya sampai mengatakan mau 500 kali juga ke sini nggak apa-apa katanya gitu guys ya wow Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu ya Dalam lindungan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Dijauhkan dari segala marah bahaya Malapetaka bencana dan balak Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin Ya Rabbal Alamin Alright guys Alhamdulillah kita masih diberikan Kesehatan dan kenikmatan yang sangat besar oleh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Sehingga kita masih dalam keadaan Beriman kepada Allah Dan juga bisa bernafas ya Itu salah satu nikmat yang sangat besar Oke, di sini kita akan reaksi sebuah video requestan daripada teman-teman sekalian di Instagram ya. Di sini guys ya ada Mina Saleh ataupun Mat Saleh ya guys ya. Kami menemukan permata tersembunyi di Malaysia di Kuala Lumpur. Wow, keren banget nih kayaknya guys. Jom kita tengok videonya. Let's go. Wow. God. Independent Once Square, aka Medeka Square, is a square located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And did you know that it's located in front of the Sultan Abdul Samad building? Okay. Crazy, right? And it also used to be home of the Selangga Club cricket team. Crazy. Perpustakaan Kuala Lumpur. Wow, cantik ya. Ini permatanya ya guys ya. Wow. Alright you guys, so we only been out here for literally like five minutes, and this place already is just it's crazy, man. Because we did come out here once. I'm not going to lie to you, but it was full of people. Like it was a crowd full of tourists. Yes, it was but, during Ramadan season, so you know what happens during Ramadan season. Fantastic. Ex exactly. So now it's literally like nobody is out here. Nobody. It's only a couple, a few locals, which we rather hang around locals than tourists any day. Exactly. But it's literally nobody out here. You can walk out here, not have to, you know, worry about bumping into people. It's just exactly. the vibe, man. This is a this, this is, is crazy. definitely a place that we'll be coming back to because of the fact that this is just like a nice little wind down type of chill thing yeah. that you can do at night. Like nobody's out here. Like you said, nobody, literally. And I really could see us coming out here a lot of times, like not just for a video, just to come out here and to relax. This is the place you come to to wind down a peaceful vibe but you want to be outside yeah, also watch the sunset yes well, watch the sunset watch like the beautiful lights you come out here for peace and just to be wow, around nature guy, yeah. because this is crazy man this is crazy wow wow crazy asli asli cantik banget guys malam hari Masya Allah uh. Y'all I find it so crazy how it's so many gems in Malaysia that don't get talked about Like stuff like this should be talked about more You cannot find this if this rally get pushed out but this is so amazing man and people come here and say that it's like dragon ball because everything is stretched out so far apart and stuff oh, rally gets talked about so you really have to be out here and find the gems because all this stuff is so amazing and it's not even half of the stuff that we've seen so even locals are saying they haven't seen a lot of stuff so Orang mana ya guys? Orang Afrika kayaknya ya. Negro kah atau mana ya guys? So at the front of the Merdeka Square is actually this cute nice area. It has like a fountain right here. Everybody okay. just chilling, nice vibe. And it says Dataran Mer Mer Merdeka right here. And this is just a cool little spot to be in. Last time we did not come up here, but I'm glad 
we came up here this time. This is nice. You can actually see the full Merdeka Square from here with the Malaysian flag. That is such a sight. Cantik betul. Asli guys ini cantik banget guys. Malam hari kayak gini pemandangannya ya Allah. Allahu akbar. Ini kalau recordnya dengan kamera-kamera seperti ini tuh kayak nyata guys ya. Beda kalau uh, kameranya itu agak-agak jelek gitu guys ya. Tidak nampak kan Also you guys if you're thinking about coming here as a couple this is the perfect place to come. Yes. There's a couple actually in the middle of the Merdeka Square just sitting Merdeka enjoying the vibes and the scenery. They also have food vendors here. Yes. They Merdeka. have scooters here. And I mean it's magical man like yeah. who, who wow. wouldn't want to come here even if like for a family setting or a date or just to come out here and be peaceful because there are a lot, there are a lot of locals out here just coming to sit down and eat food or just to be around nature and this atmosphere man it's nothing like it exactly and, and this is so not beautiful it's not talked about enough so it's crazy but um next on the list we have the river of life we're about Which to go over right there now the oh so i already see the part. lights okay. it looks amazing yeah it looks it's amazing from across the, the street ambience over there and exactly it makes you excited to go over there so let's go ahead and get into it i'm excited and also like mj said in the beginning right across from the field is the sultan abdul samai building so this building dates all the way back to the 19th century it housed offices for the British Colonial and Administration Office. Wow, yeah. Hey. Ada orang jualan juga eh, guys. This is the river of life. Asli ni ya Allah, cantik banget guys. Bisa gitu ya, kepikiran buat kayak gini asli. Saya saya banyak kali ya menonton menonton video tentang river of life yang pertama kali itu dari Arnawan Channel ataupun Abang Iwan itu pertama kali saya tengok sama Abang Fauzul Hakim seperti itu. Terus habis itu banyak juga yang lainnya ke sini ada Bang Re juga Fikri gitu kan. Dan ya udah banyak banget saya tengok gitu. Tapi kayak wow, takjub aja gitu guys ya. Melihat kayak gini tuh kayak belum-belum belum bisa dibayangkan betapa indahnya gitu guys ya. Sangat-sangat indah sekali. Also, you guys, we did a lot of research on this area, but one thing we did not research is why does the river of life fog up? I'm not really sure. Are you sure? I'm not sure either. Okay, if you know why, make sure you comment down below because we're very curious. Asli cantik banget. All right, you guys, so we've been standing here getting our B-roll shots in, and this bridge also moves just like the Saloma Link Bridge. Yeah, it's why like does the bridge, uh -huh. why do they move? Saloma. Do you know, know why they move? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's the springs in it. Maybe it's supposed to do that, so it wasn't, I don't know. I we don't have know. no idea, but that kind of scared me again because it feels like you're about to pass out. Like, it's just <laughs> like a boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So it kind of freaked me out, but I noticed like, we are on a bridge, and I guess Malaysia is known for shaky bridges, but, yeah, it's pretty cool out here, man. It's a vibe. Ah, jadi jembatannya itu agak bergerak katanya. Masa sih? Ah. Asli ya Allah, Masya Allah, Masya Allah. Cantiknya nih, cantik betul lah, guys. Bener gak sih, cantik banget? Oh my God. Terus ada tulisan Kuala Lumpur gitu di tengahnya. Terus ada kayak bunga-bunga gitu. Oh my God. Also, how could we forget to talk about the Merdeka when coming to the Merdeka Square? Also, if you come to the River Life or just in the area okay. at all, you can also see a beautiful view of the Merdeka. Last time we checked, the Merdeka was actually supposed to open sometime in March, but things constantly change. So if you know the date, 
of when it actually opens make sure you comment down below and also you guys next to the river life you have one of the oldest islamic prayer mosques in malaysia it is called the jamek mosque and it's been here for centuries so that's pretty cool and right now you hear the calling to prayer and that's pretty dope because we made it on time it wasn't really our idea to make it on time but we are here in the moment so that's a blessing so yeah man one of the oldest islamic mosques in malaysia is right behind us wow Lihat Bang Rey kemarin sama Fikri ya kan di sini guys sama Andy juga waduh asli. Alright you guys so that concludes our day. Of... There's the bell. There's the bell. <laughs> There's the bell. That's right on time. That's crazy how we was right on time for the calling of the prayer and now the bell at the um, Sultan Abdul Samad building. Which means? I noticed it. I remembered it. Yes, sir. Yeah. I remembered it. Yeah. I'm proud of you. But um, <laughs> yeah, man, that concludes the day of us exploring. Well, the night of us exploring the Merdeka Square area. This place is such a vibe, man. We will be out here 100, 500 yes. more times, man, because it's such a vibe. And the fact that we haven't even explored the whole country of Malaysia yet, and we found so many gems, or shall we say Dragon Balls, that's what they like to call it, Dragon Balls, but um, this whole place is a vibe, the community, the scenery, everything mashed up together, all the cultures, because we have seen Malay people, Indian people, European people, we've seen a lot of people, so a lot of people love to come here and enjoy the whole area. But yeah, man, this is all type of people out here coming together, being peaceful, and just enjoying the atmosphere, because you don't want a lot of tourists out here that's just going to litter going to be too loud and yelling and fighting and you don't want that so yeah this is beautiful and i see why they don't promote it that much because this needs to stay how it is it honestly does exactly i see why they don't promote the whole malaysia like that yeah because it would just get ruined by tourists and i understand that for real but exactly but thank you guys for tuning into the video we hope you guys liked it comment down below some more places that you think we will enjoy because we are we are willing to go there to vlog the whole experience because Y'all know everything about Malaysia and we don't know nothing. So yes. comment down below and we'll give it a look at it. We'll because take a look at it. we are marking off our bucket list and adding to it as we speak. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you guys, without further ado, we'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you for the support. Peace. Peace. Oh, banyak kali itu ya. Malamnya banyak banget, guys. Lembung lembung ya. Wow. Gila vlognya keren, keren banget. Oke, udah selesai videonya dan orang bule ini guys ya takjub dan menemukan permata di Malaysia guys ya. Saking apa namanya takjubnya mereka itu sampai mengatakan mau 500 kali juga ke sini nggak apa-apa katanya gitu guys ya. Wow, saking cantiknya dan kita pun saya aja guys ya. Sangat-sangat itu kayak wow. Kok bisa gitu secantik itu guys di malam hari itu. Tapi kalau siang hari memang kayak biasa gitu kan. Tapi tetap tetap suasananya itu tetap tetap dapat guys ya. Tapi kalau malam hari itu ekstra ekstra cantik betul. Wow. Oke okay guys itu saja video kali ini. Terima kasih udah tengok video ini sampai selesai. Apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan. Pasti teman-teman bangga lah ya dengan banyak tempat-tempat yang enak di sana gitu kan. Dan juga bule-bule ya kan orang-orang luar negeri itu berdatangan ke situ gitu kan. Pasti senang banget dan bangga banget ya kan. Pastilah. Ya kan? Iyalah. Coba komen. <laughs> Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearrange